Let's talk about why conventional fat loss methods or a more generic approach to weight loss may not be working for you if you have a thyroid disorder. Hi, my name is Sheba and I'm here to talk to you about your thyroid health. It's really important to remember not every single thing that I say will apply to every single person watching this video. Please ensure you talk to your doctor, your medical professional, naturopath, dietitian, whoever it is that you consult before making any drastic changes in your diet, your lifestyle, etc. Ultimately, my hope is to shed a little bit of light into helping you understand why you may not be seeing any changes in your body composition or your body weight despite trying out different diet styles or training methods. Let's talk about diet first. Now it's very important to understand that when you have a thyroid disorder, there is going to be a disruption in other hormones in your body, which can influence your sleep, your energy, your body's recovery, muscle fatigue. It can also influence your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, your estrogen, etc. Additionally, there are going to be other deficiencies in micronutrients in your body, which is basically vitamins and minerals. For this reason, a lot of diet styles, now I don't know the name of every single different diet style that's out there. There's keto, Mediterranean, I don't know, there's, there's a lot out there, as well as different lifestyle of eating, for example, where you eat once a day, you do prolonged fasting, there's diets that promise weight loss where people are drinking lemon water with cayenne pepper, you're not eating for two days at a time, uh, intermittent fasting where you're not eating for 14 to 16 hours for the day and you're only eating in that six to eight hour window you may not see the benefits or results that you are hoping to when you follow a lot of these styles. The reason being, firstly, it could be because you might be following a diet style that is eliminating a lot of different foods. Now, these foods might actually contain micronutrients that your body actually needs for your thyroid to function optimally or the diet may include foods that are actually dampening your thyroid function even more. On the other hand, if you are following a diet style where, for example, you are not eating for several hours a day, such as intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting, that might be putting further stress on your cortisol. And when there is further stress on the cortisol, guess what it does? It actually can impact your thyroid hormone even more more. For this reason, it's better to try and follow just a hormone-friendly diet, ensuring you're steering clear of consuming high amounts of processed foods, alcohol, caffeine. You're eating a lot of good protein, good fats. You're getting a good colorful variety of carbohydrates, ensuring you're also considering, for example, any foods that might have iodine in them. You might be considering foods that have good sources of selenium in them. You're ensuring you're getting uh, tyrosine as well, which is going to be much more beneficial for your body, your thyroid function, as well as the change you might be aspiring to see. Then we have exercise. Now I talked about how your thyroid hormone can impact your cortisol, right? It can impact other hormones in your body. Now your thyroid is responsible for a lot of metabolic functions in your body. A lot of fun fad exercise styles that really promise or create the hope of fat loss and weight loss tend to follow this high intensity go, go, go style or where people are lifting large amounts very frequently, where people are going to the gym a lot. People often think, oh, I need to keep going every single day if I really wanna burn those calories. That is not how your body works. Your body actually continues to metabolize and burn calories even when you have done your exercise for several hours after. Now, because your metabolic activity has changed because of your thyroid disorder, it's also really important to understand that rest is actually quite crucial for your body as well. For this reason, try and steer clear of high intensity and high volume training. Instead, try and indulge in low intensity strength training 
ensuring that you are also really prioritizing your rest and recovery with just low intensity movement like going for a swim, a walk, a bike ride, just keeping the body moving because that lymphatic circulation is also very essential for your body and you will see the changes that you are aspiring, but please don't chase after them with high stress. Additionally, having the sort of relationship with your body, your body image and size where you're constantly chasing fat loss and looking a specific way is also really going to impact your personal relationship with yourself and your body image. It's really important that you build a healthy relationship and connection with yourself and your body. Now these again are just general guidelines. Ultimately as a trainer it's really important to me that even when I have clients I tell them that my goal is always to try and impart strength it's you know my goal is always to teach people to find their strength as opposed to finding a specific body type because life happens people lose weight gain weight this is a part of our day-to-day -day living things happen you go to a wedding there's christmas it is about accepting that your body will continue to change throughout your lifetime for the average person. Ensure that you are kind and loving to yourself no matter what you are going through because your body's already going through enough. Now, if you have any specific questions or you would like to have more personalized consultation, you can always reach out to me. I will put my email in the bio for you, but I hope this helps you understand just a little bit more. And if you have any further questions or comments, you can leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself lots of love and don't forget to think strong always. Bye.